Hi guys, in our eighth example for simple gas laws, we're going to go through uh, mole fractions. So, it, mole fractions is related to Dalton's law again, that each gas and uh, each sort of component uh, in a solution behaves independently of the other. Now, Dalton's law is, um, is for gases, of course. In this case, we're going to do an example that's sort of related to it. It's a pretty straightforward example. Um, it's related to it, but over here we're actually dealing with the moles of um, ions in that solution. So, in this case, we have NaCl, the mass is 5.6 grams and the molar mass 58.5, and H2O with mass 32 grams and molar mass 18 grams per mole. And the question goes, what is the mole fraction of each component in a solution, in a water solution containing NaCl? So how do we go through this question? So in order to find the mole fraction, you need to find the number of moles for each one, each of the components first. So let's go through NaCl. The number of moles of NaCl is equal to mass over molar mass, which is equal to 5.6 grams over 58.5 grams per mole. If you do the, the calculation, you should end up with 0.096 moles. So that's for the NaCl. Number of moles of water, again, mass over molar mass, 32 grams over 18 grams per mole, and that should give you 1.78 moles. So now, the next step after doing this is to add up the total number of moles of the components. So if you add them up, 0 0.096 plus 1.78, you should end up with 1.876 moles. So that, that would be the total number of moles for all the components in this uh, solution. Now, once we know the total number of uh, moles, we can actually start doing the mole fraction. So let's do the mole fraction for NaCl first. So mole fraction is represented by x. So x of NaCl is equal to the, ma the number of moles of NaCl over number of moles total. Equal to 0 0.096 moles over a number of moles total, which is 76 mole, that would give you 0 0.051. So that's the mole fraction for an ACL. Sorry. So now that we do now that we did this, you can either keep the mole fraction the way it is, or you can make, change it into percentage. So if you change it into percentage, it will be 5.1%. Now, over here it's pretty, uh, pretty easy because we have, we only have two components, the water and the NaCl. So if we want to do the water, we could do right away 100 minus 5.1%. That would give us 94.9%. So the mole fraction is 0 0.949. But let's do it the normal way. So H2O is equal to number of moles of H2O over a number of moles total. That would give you 1 point, sorry. 1.78 over 1.876 and that would give you 0.949 mole fraction. So that if you want to change it to percentage it will be 94.9%. And there you go guys, this is how you do mole fraction. Now when we're talking about Dalton's law, of course we'll be we're going to most probably be talking about pressure maybe or number of moles. So again, it's the same principle, but yet you're using the ideal gas equation in, uh, in Dalton's law in order to find the pressure. Once you find the, the different, the separate components of each, uh, of each compound, so let's say there's two compounds, carbon dioxide and, and oxygen, then you can do the pressure for each separately, find it using ideal gas law, and then from there, add the pressures together and then do the mole fraction or the, the mole fraction for each one.